welcome to today's episode of Hanky Panky. Today we're going to show you how to make hanging lights um, for your outdoor sun porch, um, your patio. Um, with the beautiful weather that's coming, I thought that this would be a very nice craft to show you. Um, we're going to start off uh, with water bottles. Now what I've taken is I've taken a large 16 ounce water bottle and I've cut it. Um, usually it stands probably about four and a half inches tall. You just cut the bottom off. You're going to take off the lid. Um, I bought a, a set of lights. I chose these. This is called a vintage style, but as you can see, they're a large light over here. You, you want to make sure that you get our LED lights. You can work with any kind of LED lights, but I thought I like this style and it looked really pretty with the hanky shining through them, so this is what we're going to work with today. But you can use any sort of LED lights. Make sure that you stay with LED because if you don't, they're going to be a little bit too hot to handle. See the small bulb inside of there? So make sure that you have your lights before you start so you know you know how you're going to work with the hanky itself. This has this strand has 10 lights on, so um, I started with with 10 hankies. Um, I've decided that I wanted to do everything in a white theme, so I picked a variety of hankies, all kind of with a lace edge. You can see those. Um, it wouldn't matter if they were a little bit flawed because you're really not going to notice them when they're um, when they're hanging. After you um, after you cut your water bottles, what you're going to do is you need you're going to use either uh, a white glue that you mix with a little bit of water, or I use this product here. It's called Stiffy. It's a fabric stiffener, but it's basically white glue that's a little bit watered down. I took um, a cookie sheet in here and I lined it with um, some plastic coated freezer paper. Um, that way when I'm peeling the glue, uh, it will not stick. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of, our, one of our empty bottles that we've cut. I just get uh, a, just a small, a small, this is just a custard cup, a small cup. You're going to pour some glue into that cup. It's very thin. Now what we want to do is to take one of our hankies and choose this one right here, that pretty lace edge, and you're going to drape it over the water bottle so it falls evenly over the entire bottle. See how it covers it? And what you want to do is we're going to poke our finger through and bring it up so there's just a little bit hanging around the base. See it? Hanging around the base of the bottle. Okay. And just kind of move the hanky so that it sits just in a, in a pretty way. All right. That looks pretty nice, don't you think so? Now what you're going to do is you get a large soft brush this is just an all-purpose brush that I use for glue project, projects. And what you're going to do is you're just going to paint the fabric. Now depending on how you want it to sit, you don't have to paint to the very end, just the very top of it. Like this. Just that a little bit more. You can rearrange it as you're working. There we go. Now I think I like this one with it being a little bit loose on the edges. As long as there's plenty of glue on the top, then the entire shape of the water bottle will form. And it's okay if some of this stays soft. I think that'll look pretty kind of just, you know, blowing in the wind. I think that'll be nice. So what we're going to do after we get that entire thing painted with the stiffener is we're going to find a place on our, our coated cookie sheet and we're just going to lay it out like that. 
Okay. Now what that's what we're going to do now is we put that aside and what I normally do is I do these at night and I let them dry overnight. And then what happens in the morning is you have this and you can feel the fabric is very very stiff and it has adhered itself to the bottle. But all you have to do is to put your finger up inside and just kind of break the seal. All right. And then the bottle comes right out and you can see it's formed a little bit of a cup. That's where I'm going to put my LED light through it. But see how soft that is? And see this one, I chose to keep this one. Some of the edges are still soft on there. I wanted to I want this to be in the front, so I did put some glue out onto this area here so that it's a little firmer. Same thing with this one. This one just has a little bit of a, uh, a lily of the valley design on the hanging. I'm just going to separate it the same way. And if you start to give it a little bit of a turn, the whole thing comes out and see it forms a little uh, like a shade. And that's what we're going to use when we're attaching it to the light. start with. Okay, I think we're going to start with this one. It's a, see how it's formed? It actually looks like it's like it's a lily shape when it's done. And this one, I did put the, um, the stiffener right to the very end. I just liked how this one kind of tuliped out. Now, we're going to start with one of these lights. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just taking it off the end. I kind of like this style because just because of the way that it's set up. Now what I'm going to do is the part that was into the water bottle, I'm just going to set down inside. There we go. Let's see. Is that the one I was using first? Let me try that one. do is then I'm going to put this back inside and then I'm going to just screw that back into the base. All right and see what it's done here? It has just put the LED inside the lamp. All right well I'll be back in a little while. I'd like to wait till it gets a little bit darker so I can show you just how these come out and how beautiful the, they can look on your patio. Alright, we're back and I just want to give you a little bit of a glimpse at some of the, the beauty of doing your lanterns with hankies. I hope that you can kind of get an idea of what this looks like. Just very pretty and very unique. Something a little bit different. It'll add to the um, vintage look of your uh, your porch or your patio. How pretty some of those are. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Hanky Panky. And, um, you know, please share with me anything that you'd like to see. Or if you've got a unique way that you use your vintage linens or hankies, um, I'd love to see it. Thank you and have a good evening. Thank you for joining us today at Hanky Panky Vintage Linens. 
If you have any questions about what we've talked about today, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. If you've seen any hankies or linens that you like in today's video, they may still be available. Please visit my eBay store. A link to that and my contact information is in the video description.